Hi Nathan, it's Christine. I need to show you how to set up your shipping. So the first thing we do is we go to WooCommerce and then within that we go to Shipping Zones. This is going to assume that we're going to be doing it by weight. So if further down the track um, we decide you're not going to do it by weight, then you can ignore, ignore this whole thing. Now at the moment I have got um, three zones set up, but I'm anticipating you're going to need more, so I'll explain how we're going to do that. The first zone is Australia, the second zone is New Zealand, and the third zone is everywhere else. Now um, what happens, you can see when I move the mouse over these, I can move them up and down. That is to sort of uh, set the priority. So for example, if we had um, one for Europe, and then we had another one below that for Italy, then whichever the, um, the zone is that the, uh, the customer hits first is the one that, it's going, that, that it applies to is the one that it's going to use. Um, probably you won't need to use that, but that's just in case you need to know why do we want to be able to move them up and down. So let's assume that we've got Australia and New Zealand and we want to add one for the USA. So first of all, we just need to give it a name. And then we need to say, what type of zone is it? Is it based on one or more countries? And in this case, yes, we're just going to base it on one or more countries. If for some reason you want to be able to go by states or counties or by postcodes, we can do that. At this stage, I'm assuming that you're going to be sending um, to, for the same price to everywhere in Australia, everywhere in New Zealand and so forth. So let's go in here and we will choose the United States as the next one, okay? And we just click on Add Shipping Zone. Um, let's just wait for the screen to refresh. Waiting, waiting, there we go. So now we've got Australia, New Zealand, USA, and then default zone, which is everywhere else. So if a customer does not um, live in Australia or New Zealand or USA, then they will be charged whatever we've got set up in the default zone. Um, by the way, this is the ship to rather than the bill to address. So therefore, if, for example, somebody is in um, the USA and they want to buy a map but have it shipped to an Australian address, they would be charged the Australian rates. Okay, so um, let's look at how we actually go about setting up these rates within each zone. So I've already got one lot set up in Australia which I'll show you in a second but I don't have any set up for the rest of the world so let's go and finish off what I wanted to do for Australia so the first thing we do is click on configure shipping methods for Australia and I can show you what I've already set up which is the one which I've called post pack okay so let's just edit that so that I can explain to you how I've done it Waiting. Okay, so I've given it a name, um, and this is a name which the customer is going to see during checkout. We can enable and disable, so if, for example, we set up a shipping method and then later on we think, oh, we didn't really want to do that, then, you know, we don't, we can just turn it off by disabling it. We don't have to delete the whole thing, we can just disable it. Now, what I've done is I have put four weight ranges. I've got zero, to 0.50. Now remember this is kilograms, so you don't put in 500. If you want 500 grams, you put 0.5. And the cost I've put is $7.50. Now what I've done to, to get these figures is I have gone to this page, and I will give you the address of this page in an email. I've gone to this page and I've found that for, where are we, parcel, parcel post, which is, I think it's called parcel post plus now, they didn't have enough peas in the old name so now it's parcel post plus you can buy a pack of 10 of these 500 gram bags for $74.60 so I'm assuming you're not going to be buying them one at a time because I think you get about a 10% discount or something so let's assume you're going to be buying a pack of 10 each time so that's is going to cost $7.46 for each of them so I've rounded that up to $7.50 and that's how I came up with that figure there and we need to give it a little label, which as you can see if you hover over the question mark up here, it says what is the customer going to be told this is. Okay, so we've put up to 500 grams in there. Then the next it says weight 0.5 to 2.99. Now you'll notice that, actually I've made a little mistake here, I'm just going to go 
0.49. I actually had 0.499 there before, and um, it's actually rounded it up to point to point 0.5 for me. So up to 0.49, because if something weighs exactly 500 grams, like if your product weighs exactly 500 grams, and you shove it in a 500 gram post pack and then take it to the post office, the, uh, if the post office sticks it on the scale, it's going to weigh more than 500 grams, so they're going to get upset. So what I've done here is I've said for products weighing up to a total of 0.49 and you see here it's per order okay so it's, it looks at the total of all the products in the order so back to this so we go from 0.5 to 2.99 I've set it to $12 and how I came to that was because this here is $11.87 and a half is what it's going to cost you for each one so I've made it $12, rounded it up a little bit. And you can change these whenever you want to. So if you notice that the price of post packs have gone up, then you know go ahead and change these prices in the screen. And again, I've put the description here up to three kilograms. Here we've got from three kilograms to, to 4.99, I've set it to $15.50. If we go back here, you'll see it's $15.10 and a half cents for each one. So I've made it $15.50, so you'll make a $40, pro 40 cents profit on that if you want to. So um, if you want to change it to $15.10, you can. If you want to just make it $15 and lose 10 cents, that's up to you. So again, I've got up to 5 kilograms. Now the post packs, the prepaid post packs actually cut out at 5 kilograms. So if you've got a parcel which weighs over 5 kilograms, then you're not going to be able to send it in a prepaid post, pre prepaid post pack prepaid post pack plus they are now aren't they anyway you won't be able to use one of them so what I've done is I've sort of guessed and what I've said is okay if it's a product which is over five sorry a parcel which weighs in total over five kilograms then the I'm, I've made up a cost here which is $25 now you might decide you you've got a few products there which are getting close to five kilograms and you know like may, maybe the mel weighs i don't know how much these things weigh but you know some of the heavier map books might be quite heavy so you might decide you need more shipping rates in here so if you do you can either use the duplicate so you tick you know, sorry you tick here which one you want to duplicate and then you go duplicate or you can just go add shipping rate if you get confused about this, because this is probably one of the hardest things in the whole system, if you get confused about this, get me on the phone and I'll talk you through it. Okay, so basically that's what I've got. And at the bottom, once you've set all that up or updated it, you click on Save Shipping Method. Okay, which I'm going to do now because I changed this point point four point five to point four nine. Now, what I'm going to do is I actually want to add just for fun another method because I'm thinking that maybe we'll give your customers the choice of just regular post or express post okay so let's go back to Australia and if you disagree we can disable it or you can delete it whichever you like but it's also a good exercise to show you how to do it from scratch so we go back to Australia when it gets around to it and we want to go add shipping method We could probably change the name of post pack to regular post. I was just thinking that because people might feel a bit funny about having them sent in a post pack. But you could change it to regular post. So here we're going to call this one Express Post. We'll say enabled. And it's again, it's per order. So if we look over here at the Express Post, we just scroll up a bit. We've got we've got Express Post Express Post Platinum. They like their peas at this place, don't they? Express Post Platinum. I think that involves tracking and stuff. I'm really not too sure exactly what that is. But if you think that's something you want to do, then we could have a third grouping. Okay. But let's just use these ones here. So we've got a pack of five of these things for $49.25, which is approximately $10 each. Okay. So we can go back to here and we can say add a shipping rate. We go condition is weight and we say from 0 up to 0.49 is $10 okay and we're going to call that up to 500 grams okay now add another shipping rate again we go weight and we go from 0.5 to what was the next one oops to 
$9.36. Well, that doesn't sound right. Ah, you know what I've done wrong? The express post is only available on 500 grams, isn't it? So we can either buy a pack of five and it's going to cost us about $10 each, or we can buy a pack of 10 and it's going to cost us about $10 each. So let's just leave it at what we've got. If we go, so what we want to do here is we actually want to delete that row. Okay. Now what that'll do is if the um, customer orders more than 0.49 kilograms or more than 500 grams of product they won't be given that option of express post okay so we can go save shipping method and we wait okay so we go back to Australia it says shipping method saved successfully we go back to Australia And we can see here now that we've got two. We've got the post pack, which I'm thinking we should should rename to regular post, but you can do that as an exercise. And then we've got express post. Now you can see here again, because my, I'm not sure if you can see that my cursor has changed to a little um, sort of like a cross. I can actually move these around and that would change the order in which they are offered to the customer. Um, probably it's better to put the lower cost one first and then the second one. So in this case, if the customer has, if the customer's in Australia, and they have put less than four point, no, less than 500 grams worth of stuff in their order, they will be given the choice of either using regular post or express post. If they have put more than 500 grams in their order, they will only be offered those post pack rates. Now let's go back to shipping zones and I'll just run quickly through with you how you will do this for another, uh, for outside Australia, because it's a little bit different. Well, the, 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 um, the shipping zones area is the same, but let's go to New Zealand, configure shipping methods, but the Australia Post side of things is different. So the page in Australia Post that we're going to use for this is this one, and again, I'll give you the link in the um, email. We want to go to sending parcels internationally. So we click on this, and we're going to have to pretend that we are going to send a parcel to New Zealand, Go down to here, um, New Zealand, and it says here up to 500 grams. Okay, so that's already selected for us. So let's go continue, and it's going to configure. It's going to looking, looking. Now we've got quite a few options here, but let's just assume that the only one that you feel like offering is this last one, which is airmail. Okay, so basically what this is saying is it's going to cost you $9.95 to send a parcel up to 500 grams to New Zealand. So we go back over here, and we've, it's brought up New Zealand, so we go add shipping method. You might find that you can get a list from Australia Post that's got all these international rates on it, but it's really hard. So it might just be easier to just use their website. So we go here, we'll go, we'll call it airmail, okay? And it won't be taxable because, remember, there's no GST when you are sending goods overseas. Um, so this is going to an overseas country. So we change the st tax status to none. To none. Um, the way I've got your tax set up is that it will only charge GST within Australia, but it's probably best just to, just to be sure to change that tax status to none. So again, we're going for per order. By the way, the other options would be per item, per line, or buy a thing called shipping class. But we're just going to go per order, add shipping rate. We're going to go by weight. And again, we can go by price, item count, or by item count in the same class. But we're just doing it by weight. And so we go from zero up to 0.49. And we're going to charge, it said $9.95, but let's call it $10. And we'll say up to 500 grams okay now we need to add another shipping rate so we go back over here and this time we need to click on edit and we need to pretend we now got a slightly heavier parcel now when we click on this we get all these complicated looking um, breakdowns we don't need to you know have all of these prices listed okay if you think you need it we can have different know breakdowns in it but let's just go with the ones that we had for the Australia so let's go um, up to three kilograms and then we go continue 
and we can go down here. We can see for up to three kilograms, it's going to cost forty-five dollars and seventy-five cents. I'm having second thoughts. I'm thinking maybe we should have one for up to one kilogram, one for up to two kilograms, one for up to three kilograms. You can put them in yourself later if you want to. Um, you know, this is sort of this is a business decision, so it's your decision to make, not mine. Um, but let, I just need to show you what to do. So let's just assume you just want to have the three kilograms. So 45.75, so we go back here, so we go weight, so from 0.5 up to 3 kilograms was 45.75, so let's call it $46, and we say up to 3 kilograms. Now remember that if we do put in another one, which is say up to um, you know, up to one kilogram. Remember that you'll have to go back and change this so that it's from one to three, so that you've got, you know, you don't have anybody being offered the up to three kilogram rate as well as the up to one kilogram rate. Okay, so now we've got up the up to three kilogram in there. Um, I suppose the the main one to do would be um, to go over that. Will be over three kilograms up to whatever, like let's say up to 20 kilograms. I'm going to make up a figure here, but you can come back and you know work out what you want to do later. Let's say um, over three kilograms. Now you'll notice if, if I hit the, which I'm going to when I hit the uh, save shipping method, we've got no way of calculating shipping if it's over 20 kilograms. And that's a good thing because Australia Post actually won't accept a parcel which is over 20 kilograms. So uh, what we can do there is the, the website will actually show an error message that says, hey, we've got no shipping calculation applicable. Please contact us. Okay, so if somebody wants to order a huge parcel worth of stuff, hopefully they will contact you and they will say, I've got a problem with the website. It's not calculating shipping. So then you can have a chat with them about that. So let's go save shipping method. Again, I want you to go back and edit this later and set it up how you want it. So we'll go back to our shipping zones. We won't be offering any alternatives in New Zealand unless you want to offer express and so forth. You would then do the same thing for the USA. Um, this is assuming you want to have special rates to the USA. You'll add in any other countries you want and then you will say, okay, default zone everywhere else. From personal experience, I have found that the USA is pretty much the most expensive place to post to. So I would recommend that you put in the default zone that you um, put in there what it would cost to the USA. With one exception, to the USA, they actually charge um, a $9 surcharge when the parcel is over a certain weight. And I can't remember what that weight was. I think it's if it's over 500 grams but I'll get you to find that out because what you're going to need to do when we go add shipping method we'll call it air mail there's see here there's a handling and we're going to go none see here there's a handling fee okay so um, we can add in a nine dollar handling fee which we can add to every parcel even if it's just a 100 gram um, you know, 100 gram envelope type of a thing, or you can add that nine dollars into the cost when you when you're down here. So you might find if it's under 500 grams, there's no nine dollar fee, and if it's over 500 grams, there's a nine dollar fee. So you have to add the postage and the nine dollar fee to get your postage rate. If that doesn't make sense, then ask me to explain it to you again. Probably you already know about this if you're used to pass posting parcels to the USA. So what you would do here is you would go back here. You would go to new calculation and you would go internationally maybe I didn't need to go back that far but anyway you need to select a country which will be the USA so United States and we'll say up to 500 grams okay so again we've got airmail if you want to offer C-mail, you could, but I think nobody's going to want it. So let's just go with airmail, okay? Um, it, let's go back and look at this and see whether it'll tell us about that $9 fee. So let's look at a 3 kilogram parcel. Continue. Ah, it says 71.35. It doesn't say anything about a $9 fee. So I suggest you talk with Australia Post and find out about that special fee, which is only to the USA. Okay. 
So that's basically it as far as the shipping zones and how you set them up is concerned. Um, the next video I'm going to make will be about products and in there I'll show you and your staff how to actually put the, the weights into each product. Okay, bye.